Loktarg, our friends. Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and once again it's time for another Orc Mode workout. And today was Dynamic Effort Upper Day. But a quick reminder for those of you who watch these videos, please remember to click like down below. It would be greatly appreciated, so reach down there and do that before you watch the video. Thank you so much. Alright, Speed Bench. I did eight sets. I thought I did nine, but I miscounted. I guess we made up for it because I did an extra set of speed squats over what I had programmed yesterday and <laughs> one less set of speed bench but it's all good because we got plenty of pressing in so it's fine um i reduced the weight slightly on these trying to get more bar speed i felt like last time the speed wasn't quite where i wanted it felt like it's a little better today i went back to setting up with a little bit more arch which means again uh, my feet up under me more so i do a different setup on the bench and i want you guys to notice that when you do balls of your feet on your floor instead of heels, notice that I squeeze the bench with my thighs. Just a little tip for a lot of you out there who do setups like this and then your butt lifts off the bench. You shouldn't be able to lift your butt off the bench. It should not be physically possible. So if you're going to do this sort of setup, you're not going to have your feet way out wide unless your heels are flat. Go ahead and just grip the bench. Grip it with your thighs. It'll keep your butt from coming up. It'll keep you planted harder. Right, and it'll help you maintain your arch also because you're not arching, you're not arching <laughs> if your butt's coming off the bench. And of course, for me, I have such long arms and some close gripping, just a little bit of arch it just helps at the very bottom. I still have a really, really long range of motion. Uh, my wingspan's like six foot one inch. Can I have someone ask me that in the comments? We're like, how long is your wingspan? I've measured it a couple times, it's either sometimes six foot, another time I've had it. 6.1 when I had someone else measure it once. So my wingspan's pretty big. It's why I'm better at deadlifting than I am benching. No surprise there. But yeah, I'm sticking with close grip. Seems to be better for for my shoulders overall. You know what? My shoulders feel even better. They've rehabbed better since I've been doing close grip. Right? I'm not getting any sort of strain through some of those tendons like I was getting with the wider grip. So we're going to stick with it as I said. Um, one of the things I said I was going to do that I, I changed my mind on, said I was going to cut out the incline. No, I need to keep the incline in. I just need to be more focused in my tricep work itself. All right? I need to put more thought into it. And if I'm going to be closed grip benching, and I'm going to be closed grip incline benching, and closed grip overhead pressing all my workouts, all right? that's, a, that's a lot of front delt volume. It's plenty of chest volume. I need my tricep work to be more efficient, so I had to put some thought into it. And as much as a lot of my clients get a lot out of the JM press, and I like the JM presses, you know, I feel like I need to focus on just more overall tricep development. Because let's be realistic here. I'm doing floor presses on max effort day with a closed grip. I'm going to start doing them with chains and stuff when I stall. And a lot of these other lifts will do the same thing. Incline, I can go to chains. I can switch to an axle bar and stuff when I stall on the uh, overhead press. So, my triceps, from a pressing perspective, are actually getting a lot of work. I don't necessarily need to be focused on, hey, can we build the heads of the tricep most involved with the bench? I should just be thinking of, let me just get my triceps bigger. So, I'm going back to, when we get there, to an old staple, which you guys will remember me doing way back in the day a lot. Right? I used to do it way back in the day. And that's laying extensions with a straight bar. You know what, because that's one of the things I noticed the other day when I do a, a laying extension with a, a little, whatever they're called, easy curl bars, it hurts my shoulders sometimes. Straight bar doesn't. Straight bar does not. So, and I messed with a little bit earlier this week with just empty bar to get a feel for it. It's like, yep, we're good. Uh, but speed bench, speed bench went okay. Speed was decent. Next wave will go to chains. We'll go to chains and it'll be all closed grip. And that's another thing. Again, my, my tricep pressing itself volume is, is pretty good because everything is closed grip. Literally, my speed bench, my floor press, my incline, my overhead press, it's all closed grip. And I need the triceps to come up. So I just need to focus on just building the whole tricep back up and getting it back up to where they were and then bigger. Uh, Chin-ups. Uh, I had a regular poster, older, older lifter with a lot of really good advice. That said, hey, you know, your chin-ups are too wide. I agreed with him. Not getting quite enough bicep involved. And as he pointed out, yeah, I'm using my stronger lats to power through it to take the bicep out more. 
by taking that wider grip and it's probably not ideal it's probably not ideal for the wrists either so I went in closer with a nice close grip um, they were tough I'm not gonna lie I felt like these were slightly harder they're slightly harder I failed on the last rep by the way so by doing this so I noticed I still feel the lats because again it's a lat lat exercise I felt more bicep and my biceps felt <laughs> like they, they were burning pretty bad after these yeah there's more bicep involved when I go closer all right this is the longer range of motion again I have long arms bringing it in close to shoulder width like this or hair inside makes the range of motion longer gets more bicep involved it's probably better for overall hypertrophy yeah I'm gonna set performance goals on the chins but why are we doing chins we're doing them to get thicker okay doing them to get thicker all right and you know we could talk about triceps a little bit there too there is upper chest and tricep involved in chins and again if I focus on hitting the long head of my tricep too by doing extensions at work everything probably help with my chins it may even help with my overhead press okay we got to bring these back up the overhead press is still really sucking since I've started doing it again it's way behind where I used to be and but again it's hard to increase when we're doing tens but we're going to incline I was able to get the 175 today you know what I came in said all right I'm gonna get this just gotta squeeze that bar tight get a good grip on it bring it to the correct point on my chest take my time with each eccentric to get there pause everything and get it so we got the 175 I could only get nines last time I'm just gonna take this lift out I got three sets of ten with it and I came to a dead stop I tried to pause some of these are touch and go I thought they were paused I felt like I paused on every single rep but you know as I look at the footage maybe I didn't there's a couple touch and go reps here and there not intentional I was trying to pause but I think when we're doing multiple sets of ten uh, that can become difficult to keep up with but let's come back over why did I why am I keeping this in the angles involved in the hypertrophy look at that range of motion look how far I have to move that bar and it's good for the chest and the front delts it's a good hypertrophy movement and I need to thicken those areas up All right I'm only going to get better here with body composition and my bench is only going to go up by body composition okay I'm going to have to gain a lot of muscle in certain areas especially after the cut I need to just get used to it now get into the, the habit of doing those movements doing those ranges of motion pushing those areas so that again when I can do a little small mini bulk again because they're going to be mini because I'm going to stay 200 to 210 so my bulk can't be more than 10 pounds in the future and I'm going to need to bring these areas up and you know what this lift will do it and some are doing close grip it's still going to carry over I just have to be patient with it I know the muscles involved it, it will help and it'll actually help me a lot out of the bottom even so that everything else I can focus on is going to be triceps to to help with the lockout but yeah I need to leave it in because I want three angles you know flat incline overhead for my pressing again if we're going to maximize body composition and muscle mass I need to do that I need to do that and particularly upper chest and delts are going to be really important because I'm going to be close gripping right if I'm going to be close gripping these are extremely critical muscles that's really what's moving the weight is upper chest front delts triceps that's what makes or breaks you on a close grip bench those three muscles and of course things like lats to help pop you out of the bottom but we're doing a lot of lat work so again happy with this today though I got I completed all the reps right we completed all the reps I had to focus get in tight take the lift seriously to do it really focus on how I squeezed the bar really focus on where I touched with the bar on each eccentric rep then I decided let's do normal pin lay rolls let's work these back in I need the rear delts and everything you know and I like the snatch grip but again I need the forearm I don't want to keep doing reverse curls and stuff this will do more forearms I'm using more weight give me plenty of lats since I pulled the pull-ups out and I'm just doing chin-ups I don't know that I can afford a snatch grip row I really need the success for lats and these still hit the rear delts and upper back really hard now this weight I'm not super happy with the form the first couple reps were real clean still using more body English than I would like I may drop this weight down a little bit next time I might pull 10 pounds off and focus on really strict form if I can get it really strict we're good because this is 245 
and I got my three sets of 10. But again, like the first couple reps are real clean. And then after that, I start cheating a little bit more as I get fatigued. Um, I, I would rather keep these somewhat strict. Not that it matters that much, but again, from a fatigue management, maybe. I'll think about it, I'll think what I wanna do. But I certainly can't increase this weight. This weight is already sloppy enough. I can't get away with increasing it. Because uh, it, it, then I'm just gonna cheat more and more. So e even if I stay with this weight, I'm gonna have to stick with it until these reps are all clean. But again, I noticed I felt my forearms light up. The same areas I feel on the reverse curls, again, that brachial radialis and everything, really lit up doing these. Obviously we feel all of our back too. So, okay, I can do that. And I can always rotate them for uh, axle bar rows if I need to. I feel like I need a lot more forearm. But I feel like if I'm just doing enough pulling and all sort of stuff and doing curls and stuff, I don't really need to do a bunch of forearm work. Um, I'd like that area to come up. But again, these, these lifts work it a lot. And I'm doing two different pronated grip pulls, right? I really just need to focus on biceps to go with the chins. Standing press, these were hard today. Um, I, I didn't progress at all. I'm still stuck with what I was doing for tens, but again, it's going to be slow. It's going to be slow. You know, I accept that. I'm going to have to rebuild this area, and of course, I'm doing it pretty fatigued in a workout, but I'm going to keep working towards getting back to tens with 135. All right, because when I was doing tens with 135 is when I was close gripping 350 plus. So we'll keep working towards it. 20 pounds away from that right now and I'm like man that seems like a lot given how hard it is to progress on this for higher reps but we'll get there and I feel like all that extra tricep work will help because I'm strong out of the bottom it slows on the way up more tricep will help so all the, the tricep specialization will help and all my training is tricep specialization that's why I'm like well I don't need multiple direct tricep exercises I just need one really really good one we need one really good one we're doing three types of closed grip presses every workout. So that alone is, is really tricep specialized. But yeah, on this, uh, and people will notice, can I use the closer grip? I can't quite get a true lock at the top. And it just has to do with angles. I could technically lock the elbows if I laid way back at the top. And that's what people forget. It's like, what does it have to do with elbows? Well, if your shoulders don't go fully overhead, like I can't, put my arms into that position raising in the front with that close of a grip I can't raise my arm to fully to where it's nine you know perfectly 180 degrees from my legs over my head I can't do it and yes I'm doing the tons of mobility in the dead hangs every day but it hasn't really helped there so all I can do is keep doing a little extra rear delt work and some band pull aparts and keep doing the dead hangs and see where it goes but so what happens is because of that for those curious because I have to explain this that is my range of motion because that's as far as my shoulder goes and so if you think of the angles involved the elbow can't physically lock unless i were to lay way back and turn it into an incline then it can all right it's because of the, where the weight's positioned all right snatch grip high pulls i'm having to trim a lot of this because this ends up being 20 minutes you guys don't need to see me taking my straps on and off i really really wound those straps up super tight like i said i would last time all the sets went good they were starting to get a little loose on the third set but I really focused on getting those straps tight. And it's another reason to clip that out. It took like 10 seconds each time, maybe more to get them fully wrapped. Now I'm able to do these well, I'm happy with it. Uh, so I went up 10 pounds, I'm just did 235 for three sets of 10 on these. And again, primary shoulder builder, primary shoulder builder. So again, combining this, the overhead press does a lot. And then all the other rowing and stuff hits my rear delts. And then you guys will see when we get to the end, I finish them with laterals because that combination will do it you know if we really want to thicken up all your shoulders delts upper traps that combo will do it all right laying extensions i started with this and realized this is too light about 65 set of 10 yeah too light i put another 10 pounds on it and did three more sets of 10 but since i filmed it and it was you know again kind of it's still a work set it just needed to be heavier there's probably one effective rep in here because they became pretty well limit sets maybe one rep in reserve zero in reserve when I went up 10 pounds. So 75 and we'll build from here. I think at one time, I know uh, at one time, I think it was when I was even in the UK, I'd gotten up to where I was doing a full plate and a side. Now granted, those plates are slightly lighter because it's kilos, 
So it's, it was only like 130 pounds. But I'd gotten to where I could do 10 reps on this movement with that, with a straight bar. All right, that needs to be a goal. Let's get back to that. Now that's a big lofty goal from starting with 75. But if I push these hard, we'll get there. So if we look at this, this works all three heads of the tricep. This is a complete tricep exercise because we're having just a little bit of the shoulder, shoulder extension involved. All right, coming behind the head, this is working the tricep through its full range of motion. All three heads are being hit. So this is a complete tricep developer. We could argue some of the pressing is not. So this is making sure, let's just build the tricep all the way top to bottom to go with all the heavy pressing. And this will do it. And this is a great supplemental lift for that. And again, you have to find the grip in the bar that doesn't hurt your elbows or your shoulders. And this doesn't hurt me. I'm just inside of a closed grip. You know, I'm about an inch inside the, the smooth, you know, or an inch inside the neural uh, with a straight bar. Right? This doesn't aggravate my shoulders. The easy bar was, and it has in the past. So we're good here. And I'll just keep loading this up and just keep progressing on it. Again, another exercise, look at the way it's set up. I can just add chains on the same setup I do for a closed grip bench. If it stalls, throw some chains on there. We have a new variation to work on and then go back to the straight weight. All right, my curls, which again are very much like a drag curl. Again, I'm doing this chin up specific. I'm not trying to bring it up to my chest. I'm not trying to get a bunch of shoulder, shoulder extension involved, right? I want the biceps to have the heaviest load when they are at peak contraction. When the bicep is shortened and it's the elbow is, you know, again, bent to 90 degrees, that's where I want most of the, the work at. That's where I want the tension. So I'm pulling the elbows back and just curling up to there. So again, we're just working the elbow through the full range of motion. This will give me carry over to my chin ups, right? Biceps are a weak link for me there. This hits it directly with a nice heavy weight. So, and again, it's still working the bicep through its full range of motion at the elbow because I'm not worried about the shoulder extension element. Uh, because again, we could argue about that on the, as far as the, I forget the term, whatever, something, something insufficiency. I forget the, the science term. Uh, but those, you guys can go look it up. Um, gee, that can be a problem near the top when we started again extending the shoulder on the way up plus again it can impinge the shoulder if we're not careful i don't want to risk any more shoulder injury this seems just the most efficient way for me to curl to work on just bringing my chin up up of getting those biceps thicker in the way that i need them to be to bring my chin up up so again we talk about combining exercises what are we seeing here all right i got closed grip benching plus those extensions triceps flat bench stuff incline bench chest two different angles Biceps, what do we have? Weighted chin-ups, and then straight bar curls done in this manner. Okay, again, it's combining exercises. Then we finish off with laterals. The reps are a little lower than these because I'm trying to get a little higher and turn the pinky up a little more at the top. As I went, I didn't do it so much on the first set, the second and third I did. Trying to improve that range of motion because uh, again, it's been a little problematic for me and we could argue this still works. But if I really want to make sure that rear delt and stuff gets hit, and you know, as I got further along, I started doing more of it in this first set as I got into it. Then the second, third set, I really focused on, again, leaning forward so that we're not risking the shoulder health as much by doing that. And again, trying to get the pinky up just a hair at the top to get more rear delt. And I've said in the past that can be problematic, but that's usually when you're too upright. If you lean forward a little, it's, it's actually pretty safe. Again, it's about, about position, but I want to make sure I work my entire delt. So again, this is to finish off my whole delt and upper trap to go with those snatch grip high pulls, right? So we need to maximally develop all of these muscles. We need to develop them. And so it's going to be for upper body, delts and triceps are going to be the big focus, right? Delts and triceps. Lower body is going to be quads and glutes right now. And that's what we need to do to, uh, to keep getting stronger. It's particularly to try to do it as I continue to cut. Uh, but I'm really happy with today's workout. Uh, next time we'll go to bands on DE. Sorry, we'll go to chains on DE. So I hope it's been informative and I will talk to you guys next time.